Yes, hello, my name is David Jeffrey, and I tutor for YSN in chemistry and organic chemistry. So a student has asked the question, how many different carbonyl compounds are formed on reductive ozonolysis of orthoxylene? So I have uh, sketched orthoxylene here uh, before recording uh, this uh, mini lesson. And so let's, let's, let's take a look at this question. Now, um, ozonolysis does what? Ozonolysis is a reaction uh, between alkenes and ozone where the carbon carbon double bond of the alkene is cleaved into two carbonyl compounds. Now, now xylene, of course, is a benzene derivative. And as you probably know, benzenes are not alkenes. They are very special, stabilized, fully conjugated uh, pi systems where we write double bonds, but we know that benzene uh, acts and reacts in its own special way. Um, however, ozone is a highly reactive oxidant, and under the right conditions, it will it will reductively cleave the quote unquote double bonds in benzene. So, so what's going to happen here is that ozone is going to cleave here, here, and here. Um, but you have to also remember that there's another Kekulé form. There's always two Kekulé forms for benzene or its derivatives. So let's draw the other Kekulé form, right? Which moves the, you know, quote unquote double bonds to these positions right here. And so uh, let's uh, grab the red pen and let's cleave here, here, and here. All right, so all of these cleavages are taking place. So let's ask the question, which carbonyl compounds come from the cleavage of the Kekulé form on the right? And so the answer would be, I guess we'll keep the red. The answer is going to be, um, and I'll try to do this in the same, hmm, in the same um, orientation, right? So in other words, in other words, we're going to see um, carbonyl, methyl, ketone carbonyl, methyl, aldehyde carbonyl, that's CHO, sorry, CHO, that's going to be this piece. And of course, the comparable, the comparable or identical piece from the bottom, again, methyl ketone bonded to an aldehyde carbonyl, that's this piece. Um, and then what we have is we're going to have this piece here, which is just going to be CHO, CHO. So two different carbonyl compounds come from the, um, the uh, reductive ozonolysis of uh, orthoxylene from the right-hand Kekulé form. From the left-hand Kekulé form, uh, what's going to happen, let's see, is that we're going to get cleavage here and cleavage here which is going to leave this piece looking like this. Sorry, that's not so well drawn. Um, and let's see, what else are we going to have? And then we're going to have these two carbon pieces here. Let's see, here and here, which again is going to look like CHO, CHO. Um, from this piece, from this piece, we'll have the identical molecule, CHO, CHO. Um, and I do believe that's it. Let's just double check. See, we've accounted for all the carbons. So this whole piece is here, uh, which is formed by cleavage here and cleavage here. Uh, that cleavage is going to give uh, aldehyde carbonyl, aldehyde carbonyl. This cleavage will also give aldehyde carbonyl, aldehyde carbonyl. This cleavage again will free the will free this molecule, um, and so I think the answer is how many different carbonyl compounds? Let's count them. Let's do this. Let's use another color, purple. So there's one unique carbonyl compound. There's another unique carbonyl compound. There's another unique carbonyl compound. The rest are repeats. I would say the answer is three. I would say the answer is there should be three unique carbonyl compounds. Um, for the reductive ozonolysis of, of uh, xylene.